Hey everybody, Ryan F. MCG here, and I just want to remind you before we talk about the deck that I am doing Teppin daily. That means every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, maybe a little bit more, I will be posting a video up on YouTube. As well as the other days that I'm not posting a video, I will be streaming over on Twitch at Ryan F. MTG. Same name, kind of keep it simple, because my work put me on furlough because of all the health risks and the virus running around. So... Hopefully I can stay safe and healthy. Hopefully you guys are staying safe and healthy as well. But let's talk about the deck. Today we are doing Meme or Meta Episode 2. This whole thing is we take a deck that kind of looks a little meme -y or a little, you know, thematic. You know, go all in on one theme or something like that and see if it's just a meme or if it's actually really good. This time around, we are doing Akuma Senku. And this is the one unit only Kami dot deck. This is obviously just to try to get Kami as quickly as possible of Memory 4 and then Memory 7 and just get her back over and over and over again. We obviously have a lot of Resurrection spells. We are playing two Obsessive Duel, two Reckless Brawl, and then three Rebirth because obviously Rebirth is the best because it doesn't need to ha give the opponent anything and it doesn't need to have them have a unit on the board such as Reckless Brawl or Obsessive Duel you know, they're a little bit more hoops to jump through where Rebirth is by far the best one. We're playing five cards to basically try to get Kami as quickly as possible, two False Thrones to get her into our graveyard, and then three Faith because this is, yes, it is four MP, so it is kind of expensive, but this brings it to our EX pocket so that we can actually play her right away rather than having to use a Rebirth or something like that with False Throne to get her on the board. We are then playing three Malice to then make an extra copy. So if she's on the board, we can Malice and then, oh, rebirth the extra copy back. We're playing three Seeds because this is just obviously a very good card to pump up Kami and then also keep her go around even when she dies. She comes back right away. And then we're playing a play set of quite a few other things, or may sometimes not a play set, but we're playing quite a few other cards to just turn through our deck as quickly as possible. You know, three Raging Dust Clouds, three Civil and Memories. These cards aren't the best. However, they're 1 MP and 2 MP that just kind of prolong the game to let us set up our Kami and what we really want to be doing. And then we're doing uh, three Alley's Consultation, two Civil and Memory, or sorry, two Beautiful Romance, because yet again, Beautiful Romance, not the best, but it's just a 2 MP play. And Alley's Consultation, you know, is basically just a less effective uh, Foresight. Overall, that's the deck. Let's jump into some games and see how good this deck actually is. Starting off against Takoha. Let's see what we have. So basically, we want one of our five ways in our opener hand to get Kami. Either give it to our EX Pocket or False Throne. And we did not have that in the first one, neither here. So now we're just going to cantrip, basically, a Raging Dust Cloud. And that's why I really like Raging Dust Cloud and anything that just kind of cantrips where we don't need anything in our graveyard or on the battlefield or anything to get the effect right. Yeah, again, I want to just do this, so if they're not doing anything, that's fine. Another cantrip, okay, let's go. We have sh three shields for days. Let's just do this. Ooh, this is not looking good. Because the worst is if we... Yeah. Right? Like, this is the worst of... I think we just... Because there's no point in playing Obsessive Duel. I think we just, like, have to Rebirth. Because we can't do this. We can't do this. I think we just, unfortunately, Rebirth here. We should have played it before they could have played anything. Why would they negate that? Whew! We got them good, guys! <laughs> Okay, another obsessive duel. Once we get that Kami. But this kind of shows how odd this deck can be because we are just kind of cantripping, not doing much, right? But of note, our memory is now at seven, so Kami is completely unlocked. So as long as they don't brainwash this, it will be great. Let's just do this right away so they can't brainwash something like that. And hopefully we can seeds before 
before that does anything. Because you definitely want to seize when it still has the veil, so they can't target it. Like, yes, they can counter this, and that would feel bad, but... And this is just beautiful here. And we win, right? We we dirtle around a little bit, but once we actually got Kami online, GG. Facing off against Ryu, we can keep this. Yeah, we definitely, we have False Throne, which is good. So definitely a keep. Now this is more traditional Ryu, so it's kind of nice because all their BB hood stuff like that, whatever they're playing, if they are playing the ETB units, doesn't really do much against us. I want to bring back Kami when we've played four spells. So then our memory is at four, because that's when Kami gets very good, right? So that's our third one. Ooh, that's great. Okay, so now we could just actually Reckless Brawl here. Rather than Rebirth, because Reckless Brawl will put it... We will take three more, but that's fine, because Reckless Brawl will put it there. We'll have anti-air agility, so it's just going to kill their Rathalos. And even if they kill it, we have a Rebirth in hand. Oh, sorry, it does, because we need memory seven. My apologies. I think we just go for this. They could technically kill it and that would feel bad. I was thinking we had the memory four to make it beefier, but nothing more. We definitely don't want to do anything here because right now we are still getting what we want. So now it's in the graveyard. Let's just do this. Fine. I wanted to do that quick enough where we kill that Nada, but that's okay. Let's just do that. Shield up. Yikes, that's hefty. It's nice that we have Reckless Brawl. Because now we just wait. I want, I want this to get in, then we can do this. Hopefully it goes the 3-7, awesome. Now we get everything, because our memory's at 9. And this should just be GG, yep, there we go. Get Kami's on the board, you win. Okay, against Shadow Blade, we can keep this, right? Basically, we're looking for Faith or False Throne in our opener. And if they do something, then we can just Beautiful Romance to get that memory count, because we at least want memory four before we play Kami. Let's just play this. They're, they're not doing anything, so I'm assuming they're going to be playing a whole bunch of units somewhat soon. Let's just do this. I was waiting a little bit just to net some MP, so this is going to be three, so we're pretty darn close to getting the fourth one. And now Kami is only two MP, so that's great. Unfortunately, I think we just need to play that because we really need to get to the fourth and that's the one that's the cheapest to play right now and just kind of throw away, right? So I don't really particularly want to do anything 
fade here. Let's just go for this, just to cycle, uh, get our AP up, because then maybe we could use our hero power sooner rather than later. I don't particularly want to go for this, just in case if they... Well, I guess they play that, so they probably don't have a brainwash. But I, I like to do this reactively. Oh my gosh, that was... Yeah, that wasn't the best, not going to lie. <laughs> okay, that that's a pretty good one. We might have gotten got there. I, I probably wanted to do the hero power a little bit sooner or doing malice a little bit sooner. I think I got a little bit too greedy. I think we'll just do this. Like, they can board lock again, like that specific one such as it shows. But hopefully not. They could counter it. I guess if they counter it, it kind of stinks because we can't even do that. That's why we can shield up. One, just do this so they can't hero power or anything, and hopefully it just kills another creature. Let's do this real quick before before they can target it still. So now we can do another Rebirth or Reckless. We are at 9, so that is pretty hefty, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we just do that. And that's probably game. Brainwash is very good against us, for sure. I wanted to do that. Because if that goes to the top... Need to go to the top here. Or we're just dead. Either way, we're probably dead. Yeah. That was rough. Because Dark Destruction, we could keep this hand. Dark Destruction can do a lot of work, because like, our Kami, you know, their hero power just kills our Kami, stuff like that. So it's kind of nice that we have this, because now we can just Ali's comp... Uh, Uh, let's just do that. If we draw it, if we draw it, that that's fine. Either way, right? It's kind of nice because now at least we have one extra thing in our EX pocket. So we'll just kind of wait around, take this hit. Because the card drawn has to be Cabby in order to get the buff. Oh, we could do uh, this as well. So now we are at four. Do we just kind of want to wait till seven? You know what? I kind of... This could be risky, but we're already at five. Well, five, six. We don't really have a seventh one to do. No, I think, I think we just played this. I think I should have played this before. I think that was a mistake. Your struggles are futile. Right, trying to go for the 7 right away. I think that was just too much. Yikes. And that's like Fate of the Unworthy right there. It's pretty brutal. Let's see, so we will be, so we can Reckless Chart Brawl, then use our hero power, and then use Seeds while our hero power is still active. Actually, well, because we have to do that now because they could just kill it. Like, we could have waited. That might have been better.
Okay, good, good, good. We got there with a split second more. Because we are exactly seven. We're at ten life. That is very, very small life total. But we can Reckless Brawl again. And now they could just kill it. It's kind of fine, we get it back. And now a beefier one too, right? Ooh, that's good, that's good. Okay, we have two lethal threats that they have to deal with both. We could take this last hit from the zombie. I think that Dust Cloud is going to be coming in super clutch for us. Uh, we could just do that. Because now we can even hero power. I don't think we particularly need to, right? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I guess it was. I guess our, our last cami was going to hit. We were just more doing that dust cloud just to make sure. Fifth and final game against Dark Destruction again. This is definitely a mulligan. Well, we're just going to go, uh, be cantripping a little bit here. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the same opponent, but this is very similar to the previous match. Hopefully, we get a cami. That would be awesome. <gasps> We're winning! So, let's just get to four. It's kind of a nice... well, no, that's not that nice. It's nice that we have these rebirths. I think we just do this. Even though we don't draw a card, we're nine AP, and now we are at four for our cami. Malice is very good here. Yes, I would like to play it before, but we are two color deck. We can't net more than five MP. So that feels a little bad that like we could like eat that zombie, but I think we just have to play it. It's better to net the MP, right? That's fine. Now we can start rebirthing. This is this is feeling very strong. I wish we could use our AP right now, but we cannot. Let's rebirth now. Fortunately, we're only at five, so if they do try to kill this, we can't like seeds. Let's just do this one. So now this will go eat that. We're very close to seeds. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see, six. I don't think we'll have enough, no. So we are at seven now. We're going to do this right here. If they do kill it, we can now just Malice, which like isn't the best, but that's fine. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for that, but maybe we should have just gone for like a, you know what? We should have just gone for a Rebirth, right? Go for a Rebirth and that if they do something, then we Seeds. That was a pretty costly mistake since we are going so low. We're kind of forced to play this here. Okay, that was great. Now this should be fine. Okay, yet again, Dark Destruction, we're almost dead, but we kind of sneak in the win there. Overall, we went four and one, which is very good for, you know, most any deck in champion ranked. And I can't say that this list is the 100% list of the best only cami, but I like this list. I think it's very good. You are playing some cards that don't necessarily feel the best, but they're more just ways to cantrip and just to play your cards in order to draw cami or feed your memory. So sometimes you're that your individual card quality is might be a little bit lower, but your overall game plan comes together. 
Overall, do I think this is a meme deck or a meta deck? I kind of think this is a meme deck. Yes, we went for one. Yes, this deck can do good in the ladder. However, I think it's a little too glass cannon-y. And what I mean by that is if you have Kami and if you have memory four and then seven and you've had a Malice and you get to rebirth and use your hero power, you have two Kamis going, kind of like what we did against Dark Destruction, this deck feels unbeatable and it's awesome. However, how many times do we just kind of like, oh, we Dust Bowl, then we Siblings Memory, then we Alley's Consultation, and then we Beautiful Romance, and blah, 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 and we don't really draw a Kami, and we don't really do much, right? If you don't have a Kami in your hand or graveyard, and you're just kind of turning through your deck, yes, there are a lot of cards to make your Kami active, but this can still just kind of turn its wheels a little bit too much. So overall, I like this deck. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. But overall, I definitely think it is a meme deck. But thank you all for watching. And if you have a meme or meta deck that you would like me to make a video about, post it in the comments because I want to do more of these type of style of videos. I think they're kind of fun. And, you know, it's nice to see what other people have as ideas for a meme or meta deck. But that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.